Hello everyone and welcome to my new video dedicated to the best places to have a picnic in Paris. Paris is a city famous for its beauty, culture, gastronomy and parks. In this video, I'll take you to discover the 5 best places where you can organize a delicious picnic in the company of your friends or family. One of the largest and most beautiful places in Paris is Parc de la Villette, perfect for organizing a picnic with your family or friends. Located in the 19th arrondissement of Paris, the Parc de la Villette was inaugurated in 1987 and was designed by architect Bernard Chumy. The park covers an area of 55 hectares and was conceived as a place where art, science and technology meet, offering a wide range of cultural activities. But the Parc de la Villette is not just a place for cultural entertainment. The park also offers a wide range of outdoor activities, including gardening, cycling, skateboarding and, of course, picnics. So if you want to enjoy a day outdoors, surrounded by the beauty and history of this breathtaking city, the Parc de la Villette is the perfect place for you. To organize your picnic at the Parc de la Villette, you will have many options. First, the park features plenty of grassy areas perfect for stretching out on a picnic blanket and enjoying the sunshine. You can also choose to rent one of the many beach chairs available in the park. If you don't feel like bringing your own food, don't worry, the Parc de la Villette has many kiosks and restaurants offering fresh food and drinks. Imagine enjoying excellent wines, cheeses and cured meats accompanied by an excellent local baguette. In addition, the park is located near many grocery stores, where you can buy everything you need for your picnic. Inside the park you will be able to discover modern and innovative architecture, such as the Grand Halle de la Villette, the Cité de la Musique and the Zenith Theatre and have the opportunity to see art exhibitions, concerts or simple dance. Parc Monceau in Paris, one of the most beautiful and refined parks in the city. Parc Monceau is located in the 8th arrondissement of Paris and opened in 1861. It was designed by landscape architect Louis Alfand, who also designed the Bois de Boulogne and the Bois de Vincennes. Parc Monceau is a charming and peaceful place where you can enjoy a day in the sun or have a picnic with your family or friends. Parc Monceau is an English-style park, which means it was designed to mimic nature rather than follow it. The park is divided into several sections, each of which has its own unique style and atmosphere. For example, the central section of the park features a large lake with a stone bridge and an island in the center. Here you can also find an artificial cave and a waterfall. The eastern section of the park, on the other hand, has a more formal and symmetrical design, with a Roman-style triumphal arch and rotunda in the center. Parc Monceau is also famous for its works of art, such as the copy of the Statue of Liberty in New York, the Musée Cernesky in Asian Art Museum which houses a large collection of Chinese, Japanese and Korean artworks. But let's get to the reason why we are here, the picnic. Parc Monceau is the ideal place to organize a picnic in Paris. You can bring a blanket, a picnic basket and your favorite foods with you for an outdoor meal and you can enjoy excellent wines, cheeses and salami accompanied by an excellent local French baguette. The park has many green areas where you can spread out and relax with your family or friends. Also, if you don't want to bring food with you, you can always buy something from one of the many street vendors in the park. The park also offers a wide range of activities for all ages. You can play volleyball, football or petanque. The Jardin des Tuileries de Paris, one of the magnificent and iconic parks of the city, is located in the first arrondissement of Paris, a few steps from the Louvre and offers a spectacular setting with a crazy view of the Eiffel Tower. The park has a long and fascinating history. Its name comes from the ancient brick kilns, Tuileries, that once stood in the area. The Jardin des Tuileries was created at the end of the 16th century by order of Catherine de Medici, who wanted an Italian garden near the Palais des Tuileries, the royal residence in Paris. Over the centuries, the park has been modified and expanded several times, until it took on the form we know today. The Jardin des Tuileries is a French garden, characterized by a symmetrical and formal design, with straight paths, fountains, statues and perfectly manicured flower beds. In the heart of the park we find a large pool of water surrounded by trees and flower beds. Here you can also find the famous Orangery Museum, which houses some of Monet's most famous works. But let's get to the reason why we are here, the picnic. 
The Jardin des Tuileries is a perfect place to organize a picnic in Paris. Your basket can be filled with your favorite foods, cheeses, charcuterie, baguettes and local wines, for an outdoor meal. You can play volleyball, football or petanque, or simply take a walk along the avenues of the park. Furthermore, the park is also very popular with joggers and runners, so if you like to get some exercise in the fresh air, the Jardin des Tuileries is the perfect place. Furthermore, if you have children, the Jardin des Tuileries also offers a play area for children, with slides, swings and other fun activities. You can also rent a rowboat to navigate the park's central waterhole. If you've made it this far, let me know what you like below in the comments to improve my channel and if you like the video leave me a like. Thank you. Located in the 19th arrondissement of Paris, the Parc des Buttes Chamon is a haven of peace and tranquility in the midst of the bustle of the city. The park covers an area of 25 hectares and offers a unique and suggestive atmosphere, thanks to the presence of an artificial lake, waterfalls, caves and hills. The park was created in the 19th century on an area that was once a gypsum quarry and landfill. Thanks to a major renovation work, the park has been transformed into a place of beauty and harmony, which offers numerous green spaces and perfect places to organize a picnic. The main feature of the Parc des Buttes Chamon is the central hill, which offers a breathtaking panoramic view of the city. Here you can find a belvedere from which you can admire the panorama of Paris and take breathtaking photos. Furthermore, the hill is also the ideal place to organize a picnic, thanks to the numerous green areas and the presence of benches and picnic tables, so you can enjoy an excellent glass of wine accompanied by an exquisite baguette filled with the best French cheeses or cured meats, all of which will make your stay in the park more enjoyable. The park also features an artificial lake, where you can hire a rowboat for a romantic and atmospheric experience. Furthermore, you can also visit Sylvie's Cave, an artificial cave that houses a waterfall and a large underground room, perfect for taking unique photos. The Parc des Buttes Chimon is also an ideal place for jogging or for a relaxing walk. The park has many nature trails and paths, which will take you through flower gardens, bridges, waterfalls and passages under the rock. Finally, the Parc des Buttes Chimon also offers many activities for children, such as a children's play area, a carousel and the possibility of renting a pony for a ride along the park's paths. The Park of the Bois de Boulogne was originally created as a royal park and still has many well-kept gardens. Inside the park we can admire the flower beds, ponds and fountains and visit the Japanese garden admiring its architecture. Walking along the paths we can also rent a bicycle to take a trip along the paths. We can rent a rowboat and take a ride on the lake. There are also tennis courts, cricket and football areas, and even a golf course. Let's choose the activity we like best, and enjoy our time in the park. Refreshment in the park After all these activities, we may need a break for refreshment. In the park there are many restaurants and street food kiosks where we can taste delicious French specialties such as cheeses, cured meats and the unmistakable local wines. We can also opt for a picnic and enjoy our meal in one of the many picnic areas. Thanks for watching this video. I hope I have provided you with useful information. Don't forget to leave a comment below to let me know what you think and to like the video if you enjoyed it.